Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to see if you can throw pub darts as well as professional darts. Now if you've ever been to the pub to throw some darts, or you don't have darts of your own, or you're just messing about with people that don't normally play darts, the pub will always have a set behind the bar. Normally sat in a pint glass or something like that, you'll find a set of brass darts normally. Um, also these are the sorts of darts that you might find when you buy your first set off Argos along with a cabinet and a checkout card and those sorts of things. Um, and it got me thinking, how well do these darts fly? What are the standard of them like? And can you really play as well with them as you can with a set of professional darts? What is the difference between having a set of darts that are 40 or 50 quid and up, um, or a set of darts that are just seven or eight quid that come with your board? So I went on to Darts Corner. Um, I literally just searched brass darts to see what would come up, um, and I found these. So these were seven or eight pounds. Um, they are butt brass data darts. The data dart forging players into champions, uh, apparently. Um, they are described as uh, a great introduction to the game with a mixture of barrel shapes and weights available. The new player has the opportunity to find a setup with which they feel comfortable. These are 26 gram darts. What I'm going to do today is throw them and compare them against my set of Robert Thornton darts that I have. So I'll be using the full setup as it comes in the package. So I'll use the barrels, the stems and the flights that are provided. Um, and I'll be comparing them against these. So I use the Robert Thornton dart. This is 24 grams, a 95% tungsten dart um, with a prism um, stem. So they're similar to Super Grips and other products like that. So they're relatively top of the range stems. Um, and then I've got a um, 100 micron flight there. So I like them nice and thick. Um, so they are uh, also prism flights. Um, so altogether, the uh, set of darts themselves cost me about £40. And then with the stem and the flights um, for three darts, let's call it 42 43 quid for um, that setup. So um, we've got a price difference of about £35 there. As another reference point, you might want to look at some of my older videos. In those videos, I use a 26 gram Harrow Torpedo. Now you can buy them for um, about 20, 25 pounds. They're 80% tungsten. Um, the barrel uh, shape and size is identical pretty much to the Robert Thornton dart. So there's no compromise that's been made on the space you've got in the board. But obviously the brass darts are going to have um, a thicker barrel. Um, so you can compare all uh, three sets that I use, but let's open these brass darts and see what they're like. Here we go then, the butt brass data dart, forging players into champions. So I've never opened this packet before. So this is the first time I'm seeing them at the same time as you. Okay, so there's not a case or anything like that just is on a bed of foam by the looks of it. Yep, nothing else in the box. We've got a bed of foam. We have the darts with pretty standard stems in there. Nothing fancy with those. Um, let's have a closer look at the barrel. You also get um, a set of data dart flights. I'll get those out in a minute, see how thick they are. Um, and a little point holder to pop your darts in. So they're actually quite useful. I use those for my own darts because I've lost mine. Um, so let's have a closer look at the dart itself. So you can see there the barrel is quite a lot thicker than the Robert Thornton. So if we compare the two side by side, you'll be able to see that it's double, if not more. Um, I'm hoping that's going to focus for you so you can see the difference of the two there. Um, so when the uh, darts are in the board, obviously that's going to compromise how much space is left in a treble or in an area of the board. You might have more blocks and a 180 might be a bit challenging. But I'm going to try and hit one for you and uh, see if we can do that. Um, so the dart itself feels actually relatively balanced. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it flies. Um, so let's set it up with the flights. So the flights feel a bit cardy they're not very plastic and they feel quite paper so um, we'll have a look um, with my setup I use a flight punch to secure the flights into the stem of the dart through the ring um, but I'm going to throw these as they were intended to in their packet so there's no ring on the stems to keep them in there um, and I'm not going to flight punch these because I want them to fly how um, the data dart company want them to fly so I'll go ahead and put these in um, and we'll have a chuck Okay, so here they are fully set up, and to be fair, they look alright. They're not bad at all. 
Um, any new set of darts are going to look nice and shiny, really sharp points. Um, but yeah, they look okay. So it'll be interesting to see how they fly um, compared with a uh, 40, 45 quid set. So let's have a look. So I won't throw the Robert Thornton darts themselves. I've got loads of other videos on my channel where you can see the size of the darts um, relative to the board. But I will just place them in the board so you can see the difference. I've set this camera up here so it's around about my eye height. So um, I'm about 5'8". So you will be able to see from this angle the angle that I will be able to see of the board as I'm throwing. So you can see just exactly how much of the treble um, and particular areas of the board get covered by the dart themselves on the end of the board. So first of all, I will put a uh, Robert Thornton dart in uh, the treble 20 and I'll put it in at um, an ideal position. Okay, so you can see there, it looks like there's lots of room all around to fit other darts in. So um, I'll put the others in as if I've hit a 180. There we go. And with three darts in the board, in the um, treble 20, it still looks as if there's loads of room in there. So I would never throw one in the treble 20 there. Rarely would I think that it's a blocker dart and have to switch. So as far as um, the width of those darts, being 95% tungsten, they're a lot uh, more of a dense metal. Um, that means that obviously they can be uh, smaller in diameter and give you more room in the treble 20. So these are actually um, lighter uh, slightly than the... Um, the brass darts but not by an awful lot so you can see those in the board there now I'll take these out and I'll put the brass darts in as a comparison just to see how much of the area is blocked okay. so we'll put one of these brass darts in exactly the same place as the last one okay now significant amount of the treble is blocked um, from that just visually um, compared to the last so I'll try and put a side by side up so you can see you, the difference with one in and um, I'll try and put a couple others in so I'm putting these in so that the flights and stems aren't touching so um, I'm not getting lucky with exactly where the points are going sorry if you can hear the strimmer in the background there somebody's doing some gardening next door I think There you go, with all three in there, it's pretty packed. So you could hit a 180, there's no reason why not, and I'll try and hit one in a minute. Um, but as far as uh, extra room is concerned, um, again, I'll put a side-by-side -side comparison up here so you can see the difference of the space that's available with the 95% um, tungsten darts um, versus these brass darts. Um, it's quite significant, really, isn't it? So um, it'll be interesting now to have a throw with them, to see how they fly, firstly. Um, and second of all, to see what we can do with um, some grouping. Um, it's quite a significant difference. Um, you'd say that there's um, a marked difference in the width, probably double at least. So if I can get that in front, you can see there, there's a very significant difference there. Um, so it makes sense that the, uh, the smaller ones will give you the biggest surface area to hit on the board. Okay, so sorry again if you can hear that strummer in the background. I'm hoping it's not going to be too loud and drown anything out. Um, but I've got myself all set up here. Um, I'm going to have my first throw ever with these brass darts now, just to see how they go in the board. Um, I'll try and hit a 180. Um, I'll at least try and hit a 140, see if I can get two in the treble. And then we'll have a look and see how much room there is, see how they fly, um, and see what there really is to um, say about these cheap darts. This is my first throw of the day, literally, so um, excuse whatever comes out of my hand. Okay, so my first impressions, they were three pretty loose darts, first ones I've thrown all day. It's really noticeable. Um, the change in um, width of the dart in your hand. It feels like you're throwing um, some sausages at the board. Um, but they flew all right, to be fair. Um, the uh, flights are just loosely in their stems, um, but they seem pretty secure on their way to the board there. Um, so I'm pretty confident I can hit what I'm aiming for. Um, the only issue is going to be what room I've got. So I'll carry on throwing and hopefully get some scoring in for you.
See, that is a complete block. Okay, so that first one went in the treble 20, and there was a bit of room um, to get a second one in, but I can't see how I'm going to hit a 180. Um, but they're flying all right, actually. They're lying a little bit flatter than my darts normally do, um, but nothing that I can't work with. So once I get used to how they feel in my hand, I'm hoping I can at least hit a 140. So let's keep going. The stems do come loose every time I'm getting the darts out of the board. I'm having to give them a bit of a twist to um, tighten in the barrel. Oh, see that's a big deflection. When that left my hand, that was at least going in the single 20. Um, the difference in size of the darts means that deflection has flown into the single ones. Um, so yeah, not ideal. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these darts. They do travel to the board pretty well. They go more or less where you're aiming. They're not going all over the place. So they're not awful. Um, my only issue is that you're paying eight or nine pounds for a set like this and you can pick up an 80% tungsten set for 20 quid. Um, so if you're really gonna spend time, you think 20 quid is, it's not even a night out. It's barely even a takeaway. Um, so if you're gonna spend that amount of time on the dart board, um, then, you've got to get an upgrade from these, but um, I still think you can probably play all right with these. So I'm going to keep plugging away. Okay, so that second one um, went right in the corner of the treble 20, left a lot of room, but that's an ideal dart for an overstacker. I threw the perfect overstack in the next dart. Um, just the size of the barrel there just deflected it into the big 20, so um, it's going to be really hard to get a couple in this treble. So with that last throw, the first dart was pretty perfect, but I can't really see how I'm going to score more than a ton with that in the board there. There again, I can find the treble 20 okay. It's just the logistics of getting one in alongside it is tough. Right, I might try and change my throw a little bit, see if I can loop them in to get them to stand up a little bit. I might have a better shot then. Okay, it's done the opposite, but there's that big deflection again. Um, that should have been nowhere near the treble. So, you know, you get um, a bit of rough with the smooth um, there. So got a hundred out of um, a dart that if I'd been throwing my normal darts probably would have just been a 60. Now I'd love for you guys to come up with some challenges for me to do with this set of darts, whether that's a particular checkout you want me to try and hit with them, um, whether you want me to stay out here till I hit a 180, or if you want me to hit a full house, which is treble 20, treble 19, treble 18, that's probably gonna be the easiest one to do, to be honest. Um, three in a bed on the double, um, three balls just isn't gonna happen. That's just not gonna happen with these. Um, but if you've got any good ideas of things you'd like to see me do with them, um, some of these big chunky darts, then uh, let me know and I'll um, try and put a video together. Rubbish. Oh. I thought I was going to have a chance there.
So it's a really strange concept because when I'm throwing my normal darts, that's a bit of a dodgy one, despite being a 60. Um, you want it to be right in the middle of the treble so you can work on it. But <laughs> the trebles are so small in comparison to the width of the darts that for me now, that's an ideal one if I want to get two in the bed to work on because I can actually see some of the treble. So it's a bit of a move to the side, but I might be able to. No, not quite. Hey, there we go. So I've managed to hit a 140. Um, and just as I just said before, when I hit the first treble, so that shot worked out quite nicely. Um, it had to be right in the corner to allow me some room. Um, what I'll do is I'll just take off the um, camera and see how much room there was remaining. Okay, so we've got a 140 in the board here. Let's take this camera off and just have a look at the angle I threw the last start from. So there actually is a bit of space there. So you could come across and do that. Um, you can see the size of the deflection that the final dart took. Um, I had to pretty much rattle that in off the other two. Um, but all in all, it's doable. Um, so I might stay out here in the future and try and hit a 180. I could be here all day. But like I said before, if you've got any ideas of um, different options and different challenges you'd like me to do with these bigger darts, let me know. And if you've got a set of darts like these, they, they probably came with the board. I can't imagine you went online and bought these darts um, actively trying to find a set that would be good ones to use. So it's a bit of a strange one that they sell these separately. But as far as coming with um, a new board and setup, I see why manufacturers do it. They're cheap to put in. You need a set of darts when you um, buy the dart board. But um, if, even if you just have one um, a board up at home and you're just looking to um, have a little throw just for fun at home, um, spend the 20 quid literally there's um, go on darts corner red dragon um, a180 there's some really good darts shops out there um, even uh, dart swaps on Facebook websites that sort of thing you can find yourself a half decent set for 15 20 quid um, because quite frankly um, if you're plugging away trying to become um, a player hitting lots of 180s with these darts it's not gonna happen um, and if you want to be as dated up put it forging players into champions um you got to make the step up and um look for a uh, tungsten composed dart um something that you can fit more in the trebles okay that's it from me for this video um if you've got any suggestions of challenges you'd like me to do with the bigger darts then just let me know um in the meantime if you haven't already all the usual stuff please like subscribe follow me on twitter for more content and i'll see you next time